I think it's really important to give children lots of opportunities to handle equipment. Um, so the idea of when we've introduced Numbon's 10, they're actually physically moving equipment so they can start to see what's happening and start to see exactly what we're talking about when we're partitioning numbers in different ways. They're used to seeing how the beads can be moved and manipulated to help them to find pairs of numbers. So they're starting to build up images in their head that they can link in with what they're doing as well. How many more to equal 10? We've got two here, so we can move two. So how many more to make 10? Brilliant. One of the things we try to do is give them the opportunity to do some learning outside just to make it a little bit different. Who's going to be the next one? Basically, we just take the activities that we would do inside, outside, give them a bit more space and freedom to explore them. What have we got there? Oh, number one. Who thinks they know what we need to add to number one? Number ten. Oh, not ten. What do we need? Remember to use your fingers. Just fold down one finger. But again, they're applying the strategies that we've taught them in terms of using their fingers to fold down the number that they've got to find out how many are left standing up. Nine. Can we find the number nine? Oh, Carrie's got it first. We've got the number nine. So what would that be as a number sentence? One. One. And nine. Nine, nine, nine equals ten. ten. Well done, guys. And hopefully the more they do that, so again, doing the same activity lots of times, so eventually they start to recognise, actually, I know five and five is ten, so that they can do it much more quickly. <laughs> So you're modelling the same thing but in different forms so that children are seeing that they are not separate things, they're just different ways of doing the same thing. Four. One, two, three, four, so we've got six left. Three, seven left. Seven left. Now five.